I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 93.1 Questioner, could you first please give me the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. The physical complex distortions of this instrument far more closely approach what you might call the zero mark, that is, the instrument, while having no native physical energy, is not nearly so far in physical energy deficit distortions. The vital energy distortions are somewhat strengthened since the last asking. Question 93.2 Questioner, what is the position and condition of our fifth density, negatively oriented visitor? Answer, I am Ra. This entity is with this group but in a quiescent state due to some bafflement as to the appropriate method for enlarging upon its chosen task. Question 93.3 Questioner, thank you. You have stated previously that the foundation of our present illusion is the concept of polarity. I would like to ask, since we have defined the two polarities as service to others and service to self, is there a more complete or eloquent or enlightening definition of these polarities or any more information that we don't have at this time that you could give on the two ends of the poles that would give us a better insight into the nature of polarity itself? Answer, I am Ra. It is unlikely that there is a more pithy or eloquent description of the polarities of third density than service to others and service to self due to the nature of the mind, body, spirit complexes distortions towards perceiving concepts relating to philosophy in terms of ethics or activity. However, we might consider the polarities using slightly variant terms. In this way a possible enrichment of insight might be achieved for some. One might consider the polarities with the literal nature enjoyed by the physical polarity of the magnet. The negative and positive, with electrical characteristics, may be seen to be just as in the physical sense. It is to be noted in this context that it is quite impossible to judge the polarity of an act or an entity, just as it is impossible to judge the relative goodness of the negative and positive poles of the magnet. Another method of viewing polarities might involve the concept of radiation absorption. That which is positive is radiant, that which is negative is absorbent. Question 93.4 Questioner, now, if I understand correctly, prior to the veiling process the electrical polarities, the polarities of radiation and absorption, all existed in some part of the creation, but the service to others service to self polarity with which we are familiar had not evolved and only showed up after the veiling process as an addition to the list of possible polarities in the creation. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 93.5. Questioner, would you correct me on that? Answer, I am Ra. The description of polarity as service to self and service to others, from the beginning of our creation, dwelt within the architecture of the primal logos. Before the veiling process the impact of actions taken by mind, body, spirits upon their consciousness was not palpable to a significant enough degree to allow the expression of this polarity to be significantly useful. Over the period of what you would call time this expression of polarity did indeed work to alter the biases of mind, body, spirit so that they might eventually be harvested. The veiling process made the polarity far more effective. Question 93.6 Questioner, I might make the analogy, then, in that when a polarization in the atmosphere occurs to create thunderstorms, lightning, and much activity, this more vivid experience could be likened to the polarization in consciousness which creates the more vivid experience. Would this be appropriate as an analogy? Answer, I am Ra. There is a shallowness to this analogy in that one entity's attention might be focused upon a storm for the duration of the storm. However, the storm producing conditions are not constant whereas the polarizing conditions are constant. Given this disclaimer, we may agree with your analogy. Question 93.7 Questioner, with the third tarot card we come to the first edition of archetypes after the veiling process, as I understand it. I am assuming that this third archetype is, shall I say, loaded in a way so as to create the possible polarization since that seems to be one of the primary objectives of this particular logos in the evolutionary process. Am I in any way correct on that? Answer, I am Ra. 
Before we reply to your query we ask your patience as we must needs examine the mind complex of this instrument in order that we might attempt to move the left manual appendage of the instrument. If we are not able to effect some relief from pain we shall take our leave. Please have patience while we do that which is appropriate. 30 second pause. I am Ra. There will continue to be pain flares. However, the critical portion of the intense pain has been alleviated by repositioning. Your supposition is correct. Question 93.8 Questioner, there seems to be no large hint of polarity in this drawing except for the possible coloration of the many cubs in the wheel. Part of them are colored black and part are colored white. Would this indicate that each experience has within it the possible negative or positive use of that experience that is randomly generated by this seeming wheel of fortune? Answer, I am Ra. Your supposition is thoughtful. However, it is based upon in addition to the concept complex which is astrological in origin. Therefore, we request that you retain the concept of polarity but release the cups from their strictured form. The element you deal with is not in motion in its original form but is indeed the abiding sun which, from the spirit shines in protection over all catalyst available from the beginning of complexity to the discerning mind, body, spirit complex. Indeed you may, rather, find polarity expressed, firstly, by the many opportunities offered in the material illusion which is imaged by the not white and not dark square upon which the entity of the image is seated, secondly, upon the position of that seated entity. It does not meet opportunity straight on but glances off to one side or another. In the image you will note a suggestion that the offering of the illusion will often seem to suggest the opportunities lying upon the left hand path or, as you might refer to it more simply, the service to self path. This is a portion of the nature of the catalyst of the mind. Question 93.9 Questioner the feet of the entity seem to be on an unstable platform that is dark to the rear and light to the front. I am guessing that possibly this indicates that the entity standing on this could sway in either direction, to the left or to the right hand path. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is most perceptive. Question 93.10 Questioner, the bird, I am guessing, might be a messenger of the two paths depicted by the position of the wings bringing catalyst which could be used to polarize on either path. Is this in any way correct? Answer, I am Ra. It is a correct perception that the position of the winged creature is significant. The more correct perception of this entity and its significance is the realization that the mind, body, spirit complexes, having made contact with its potentiative self, now beginning its flight towards that great logos which is that which is sought by the adept. Further, the nature of the winged creature is echoed both by the female holding it and the symbol of the female upon which the figure's feet rest, that is, the nature of catalyst is overwhelmingly of an unconsciousness, coming from that which is not of the mind and which has no connection with the intellect, as you call it, which precedes or is concomitant with catalytic action. All uses of catalyst by the mind are those consciously applied to catalyst. Without conscious intent the use of catalyst is never processed through mediation, idation, and imagination. Question 93.11 Questioner, I would like, if possible, an example of the activity we call catalyst of the mind in a particular individual undergoing this process. Could Ra give an example of that? Answer, I am Ra. All that assaults your senses is catalyst. We, in speaking to this support group through this instrument, offer catalyst. The configurations of each in the group of body offer catalyst through comfort discomfort. In fact all that is unprocessed that has come before the notice of the mind, body, spirit complex is catalyst.